In this video, you'll see how to maintain compliance on Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 Linux instances by running Ansible playbooks that define and enforce a desired state. To begin, we'll need a Linux-based EC2 instance. Let's go to the EC2 Management Console and see what we have. For the purposes of this example, we provisioned an Ubuntu Linux instance running on EC2. Notice it has a server type tag with a value of Ubuntu. Later, when we execute a playbook, we'll use this tag to target this instance. The instance has also been configured with a role that includes the appropriate policies to manage it using Systems Manager. Let's go there now and use Session Manager to connect to the instance. Here, we're going to quickly run a series of commands to install Ansible on this instance. Ansible is an open source configuration and deployment tool that is often used for security monitoring and remediation purposes. Ansible has been successfully installed. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to use an Ansible playbook to ensure that the SSH service is not running on our instances. Before we do that, Let's test to see whether the SSH service is currently running. As you can see, SSH is currently enabled and running, which is not the desired state. Next, let's go to Systems Manager State Manager to create and run an association that will execute the Ansible playbook. Provide a name for this association. Next, Specify the document that is used to run Ansible playbooks. The first parameter we need to specify is the URL for the playbook. Let's look for the URL. Here is the Amazon S3 bucket where we are storing the playbook. Let's open it and take a quick look. This simple playbook contains the configuration we want to apply to our instances to put SSH into a stopped state. Now let's copy the path and paste it into the appropriate field in the association configuration. We'll accept the default value for the additional variables. We'll also leave the check parameter set to false, which means we will actually enforce compliance and remediate any instances that do not match the playbook configuration. If this value were set to true, we would check and report on compliance, but not remediate any issues. Next, we'll choose to target instances by specifying a tag. We'll provide the custom tag name and value we saw earlier when we examined our instance. You can specify a schedule to run the association here, but for now, we'll just accept the defaults. Optionally, we can specify the association compliance severity, which will be reflected on the compliance dashboard. Let's select Critical for this example. Now we're ready to create the association. After a few minutes, this association will begin running and checking compliance on the specified instances. Navigating to the Compliance Dashboard, we can see the instance is currently listed as non-compliant. This is because the first time the association runs, it checks for compliance and reports the results before it remediates any issues. Let's return to State Manager and apply the association again manually to see if the issue was successfully remediated. Now, when we return to the Compliance Dashboard, we can see that the instance is being reported as compliant. We can verify compliance by returning to Session Manager and checking on the state of SSH in the instance. As you can see, SSH is now inactive. This instance is now in compliance with the Ansible playbook. You've just seen how to maintain compliance on Amazon EC2 Linux instances by running Ansible playbooks that define and enforce a desired state. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.